Uh, we're a little perplexed because this is not something that ICE typically does. ICE admitted that they dropped the ball, that they made a mistake yesterday by not giving the community any kind of heads up on releasing 214 migrants at the Greyhound bus station last night and early this morning. You know, this really does take a collaborative effort. The city, the county, volunteers, nonprofits, everyone is coming together to ensure that we are able to respond in the most adequate manner. ICE uh, dropped off more than 200 people who had been in custody at the Greyhound bus station, which is not too far from where we're standing right now. Um, and a number of amazing volunteers, many of them around me right now, uh, came out late at night, early this morning in the, in the, in the small hours of the day um, to, to help. We're trying to ensure that ICE uh, gives the community notice next time when, when they know that there's not going to be space in existing migrant shelters to give the community 24 hours heads up so that we can find um, hotel rooms, beds, alternative shelters, food, volunteers, um, everything that these people will need to make sure that they are okay. Um, obviously this is happening on Christmas Eve. Um, tomorrow we expect another 200 on Christmas Day. If you're not in El Paso and you want to help out, Annunciation House, uh, A-N-N-U-N-C-I-A-T-I-O-N-H-O-U-S-E dot O-R-G, Annunciation House dot org. You can make a donation. Uh, we just made a donation today at Annunciation House dot org. You should as well. It funds the work to make sure that on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, throughout the year, um, that these migrants who have no other place to go uh, are at least able to stay in a shelter, have a bed, uh, and be with their families.